What is up, UJ fans? It's your boy Clicky coming at you with some UJ Valorant action. Tonight we're taking on Cornell College. Pretty even record. Uh, and this uh, series is going to determine which team is moving on to the playoffs. Maybe. There's some tiebreaker stuff involved. Uh, but if UJ wins this, they have a chance to go to the playoffs. If UJ loses this, uh, they're out for the season, at least for Valorant. So... There's definitely some stakes tonight. So it should be a fun one to watch. Both teams coming out swinging. In the meantime, don't forget to follow us right here on Twitch as well as on Twitter and Instagram to keep up with all of that UJ Esports action. You can subscribe if you so wish. It helps support the team. Uh, it costs five bucks a month. It automatically renews. And if you have Amazon Prime, you can link your Amazon and Twitch accounts and get one free subscription each month to any channel of your choosing, but you have to re-up it each month. And you can use that on us the same way that you use a paid sub subscription and you, su so you support us basically for free if you already have Amazon Prime. So that's pretty cool. You get to support us without even really spending anything. That's, that's pretty sick. Uh, otherwise, you can donate. It helps support the team similarly to subscribing. Uh, or you can donate to Extra Life, which is a fund for sick kids, and obviously every penny counts there as well. But I would assume that the guys are just finishing up some death matches and whatnot, and we should be moving into the lobby relatively soon. Um, let's see. We got any stats, actually. I guess one uh, thing to mention is that Call of Duty is not playing tonight. They have a bye week. Um... And it looks like, uh, depending on another match tonight in the Call of Duty division, um, UJ could be anywhere from second to fourth seed in the Call of Duty. Um, but regardless, that's some that's some pretty good placement. That's always good to hear. Um, meanwhile, uh, for Valorant, like I said, if they win this, they have a chance to go to playoffs. If they lose this, they're out. And if they do win... Uh, tiebreakers could place us anywhere from third to sixth seed, depending on how that all pans out, um, which is definitely respectable as well. Um, it looks like that's about it for playoff information. Also, tomorrow we do have Super Smash Bros. at six against Truman State University. Um, and if we win, we'll be either number two or number three seed. And if we lose, we'll be number four. So I'm assuming that Truman uh, is going to be relatively even uh, to us in record. So it should be a good series. Be sure to tune in for that as well. as that. Uh, and then on Saturday, Fortnite has their zero build regional um, from two to six. So be sure to swing in at some point for that as well. I, I know that four hours is a lot, but if you can make it through four hours, I commend you. And it's always some solid gameplay as well. It's fun to watch. It's not like you're just staring at a, a brick wall for four hours. You're watching some top-tier gameplay go down. Oh, also, um, results from the, the uh, tournament, if I can find it. And if it wants to load because I'm in the bad spot for Wi-Fi. Here we go. Um, so for overall team placements out of seven, eight-ish teams, um, UJ actually took first, which is awesome to see. Uh, NDSU took second. Um, and then why not? I want to say, is that one took third. Not 100% sure on that one. Um, and then UJ, uh, in individual titles, got first in Overwatch and Super Smash Bros. 
So UJ winning both the most or the the largest number of titles and getting the most number of points overall. Pretty sick. So be sure to give your your uh, respective team members some love for that. They all performed very well in the tournament, which is great to see. We'll see if okay. I've been yelled at for talking in match chat before, so I just want to let someone else do it. mode. Also, one thing I probably should mention uh, is that, well, the season is coming to a, a close for um, I I think every game this week, uh, so that means this is Valorant's final uh, regular season match and potentially their last one uh, of the the semester if they aren't able to pull out the dub. Sick. They're promoting the stream. Let's go. I appreciate you, Kronos. <laughs> Good to see that they have a sense of humor, too. That's always uh, a nice little upside. <laughs> uh, I actually had Burger King earlier. I didn't have a Whopper. I had one of their patty melts, which are, are pretty pretty decent for being fast food. Currently sipping on some Cherry Surge. Five days worth of sugar consumption, but God, is it good. Ha <laughs> ha. Oh boy, just some friendly banter between the teams prior. It's always nice to start it out that way, showing that there's no hard feelings, no uh, no actual aggression between the teams. And who knows, maybe if it's a solid match, the teams get along, we could have a new scrim partner. That'd be fun. Checking if UJs are. Maybe someone's away from their computer, considering no one said anything yet, but we should be ready soon. Yep, it's on two minutes. Yep. Yep, I know.
All right, I'm back. It looks like we're going to be seeing, uh, yeah, entirely mirrored comps for the teams. If the, the two members on each team lock in what they're hovering yet, I'm assuming they're going to. Yep, so UJ 5 out of 5, locked in. Two left for Cornell to lock in, just taking their time, making sure that they've got the picks right, feeling comfortable. In they go, and off we are. If uh, the map wants to load, there we go. Uh, the the save wide joy card is so funny to me. So for those of you that don't know, um, there was a, a bug that made it Killjoy's uh, like agent icon, like the little head uh, headshot that you see, uh, j just like significantly wider than everyone else's, and it was hilarious. Man, neutral spec is so much better. I say it every time I get it, but man, is it just so much better. So it looks like UJ is going to be setting up for a pretty aggressive and quick A push. Two members of Cornell over there on B setting up with KJ and Sova. I, I think this is probably a pretty standard hold. For uh, for both teams, that finds Cowboy's head. First pick is gonna go Cornell's way. Toji with the frenzy, actually interesting. It's the dink. Brimstone down to one HP, or eh, roughly one. Can't find the shots. Is two fraggers down. Hitting them with the Owl Drone. Smokes are coming down. Cornell's KJ might catch someone out on site if they're not careful. Hot Agreed finds uh, Banthanor with the, the turret. Adaptation still in Sewers, Cubby. Not sure what it's called. The Cable finds the last two. The first pistol round is going to go Cornell's way. I'm going to familiarize myself with their names real quick. Cable, Bet, Adaptation, Lend or Lend 4. I'm just going to call them Lend and then Banthanor. Banthanor is such a good name. Ah, got like, like that, that fantasy feel to it. And he's playing like the, the manliest character too. Seems good. Banthanor. Knife not finding anything. Low push for UJ. Can't really do a whole lot because of that one way. Can go up and over, but that still feels really risky. Toji just playing in the smoke, making sure no one pushes through. To be fair, it'd be really hard for either team to push through that one way. Or else smoke is going to come down. Toji going in, getting gunned down. Cowboy falling as well. Jill, I'm assuming, is guessing that uh, the name Fett? I was right. That Fett is up there with the uh, Marshall, I think, is what he or she has. Jiggle peeking, trying to catch someone out, not finding anything quite yet. Thirty seconds left. You're kind of just spending time. I'm not exactly sure what the idea is. Looking for the recon dart. It's gonna come out. Isn't gonna get a pulse off. Vet finds two, 
with the sheriff, and Banthanor is going to clean up Pot of Greed. I mean, that's about how buy-ups are expected to go. But regardless, Cornell is going to go up two to nothing. Okay, opting for a B push this time. Ooh, Toji finds the head of Fett. That's going to be the first first pick for UJ on the map and on the series. Shock darts coming out, trying to find something. Whopper, Whopper with an Odin. Interesting. I, I've seen the defensive Odin hold. Toji finds a second as well. Uh, I've seen the defensive Odin hold. I don't know if I've ever seen the aggressive Odin hold. Joe is going to be slamming the plant down. Cornell is playing retake. OG finds his third on the round. Finds his fourth. Give him five. Come on. Give him five. Ah, oh, Joe stealing the ace, but still a flawless for UJ is exactly what they needed. Yeah. Not exactly going to be breaking Cornell's economy, but it's not going to be feeling too good. UJ going for another B take, realizing, hey, it worked. Let's try it again. Cornell still looking for a really aggressive A hold. Maybe getting the uh, the intel on whether or not there's going to be an A push from UJ really quickly and maybe call the rotate early if, uh, if there isn't any pressure from UJ. Sentry bot is set up there to gain knowledge for UJ if there is a rotate from Cornell. Don't, don't know that that dash exactly went where he wanted it to. No harm done. Pot of Greed finds Cable. Joe, real blind, but it doesn't matter. Still alive. UJ with a real quick hold, uh, or take, excuse me, of the site. Now they have hold of the site. OG finds Banthanor. Cowboy finds Adaptation. Also finds Lend. OG finds another. That's two flawlesses in a row for UJ. Whatever they're doing right now, they're doing right. Also, I'd like to, to point out, Toji kind of popping. Like, it, he's he's been kind of inconsistent this season, but <laughs> good to know that he's real on right now. So hopefully he can keep it that way and just keep pulling the flawlesses for you, Jay. Jay calling for a split take saying, all right, Cornell probably is going to expect a, uh, a B push. Let's split up, take some, some uh, split coverage. Pot agreed, finds Lend. One fragger out of the way for you, Jay. Did not see the Sova's head. Finds the head of Fett, though. What a shot. Ooh, Cable takes him out, however. Cowboy finds one. Joe racing on the site. Making sure site is clear, it is. Down comes the spike. 
Eugenia, 4v2. Still don't understand exactly why uh, Whopper bought the, the Odin. I mean, I'm sure he, he knows much more than I do. I'm sure there's a reason behind it. But it is also just funny to me. I guess that is a reason. That's fair. Don't know that he found any shots, but he did apply pressure. Cowboy backing. Making sure he doesn't get picked out. Whopper finds adaptation. Just got to get out before they fall to the big orb of, uh, of spiky death. Or the round will just end. That works too. UJ in the lead after losing the first two rounds. So they they full committed B twice, they split pushed once, and now I, I feel like UJ can kind of just commit however they want because Cornell doesn't really have a great read on it. We're going to see the jet in mid for Cornell just to hopefully shut down some mid control for UJ. But he is going to get smoked off. Bet finds the shot on Joe. Real aggressive op play. That's exactly what Jet does best. Koji with the spike, a little questionable. Not sure that I want my Jet with spike, but I, I guess it's better than no one. Molly comes out, tags Toji up. Lend is seen with the pulses. Cowboy finds the head of Banthanor after he takes out Whopper. UJ down a man, but up a plant. Ooh. Toji revealing his position in Pot of Greed was seen. Toji finds one, then he find a second. Finds another. Cowboy finds two. And UJ turning, uh, well, a, a man disadvantage, quite frankly, into a round win. UJ four in a row. But I think the lost money is going to be stacking up. Cornell is going to probably, oh, they're not going to be able to full buy. Uh, not exactly. Why does he have a? Why do? You, why does he have an Odin again? Uh, like I said, I there's probably a valid reason. I just think the Odin's funny. The knife finds two. Doesn't tell you where they are, but it tells you that they're in that radius. So we know that there's two on sight. OGC's Len doesn't find the shots in time. Cowboy hitting him with the good old right click pop flash. Cable finds one. Toji finds two in the meantime. Interesting ult usage from Cable. Because, uh, like, typically you want to do it when. When uh, you kind of know where they are. Meanwhile, Banthanor finds one. Um, but it, it did find one member of UJ. So obviously it was a, a good ult regardless. Pot agreed, finds the shots on the Fet while he's above the, the little building. Whopper finds the pick with the Odin. While it is working, that doesn't mean I'm not going to keep laughing. Pot Agreed finds the head of land. That's five in a row for UJ. We do typically see UJ perform very well on Ascent. Um, but very well seems to be a bit of an understatement right now. Aside from the pistol and buy-up, UJ's been dominant. Here we see Banthanor with the Odin. Maybe there was like an Odin buff. Maybe I'm just unaware. 
like the the Odin is like the spray through walls kind of gun. Like throwing it on the Sova, especially defensively here over at V, makes a lot of sense because you can you can recon dart and then spray people that you see through the wall, which is really funny. Cowboy not getting tagged by the shock dart or the follow up shock dart. Um, Owl drone is gonna fall. Members of both teams gonna back, give some space. But aside from the the whole spraying through walls thing, I I don't know. It just feels like it's less good than uh, like a phantom or a vandal. Bet hits the spray through the smoke. Cable finds Whopper. Gets tagged back up in the meantime. You just lock down getting popped. Banthanor finds one. Potagreed finds one with his Molly. Cowboy finds the head of Adaptation. Zero players detained. Two members left on each team. <laughs> and funnily enough, it's the, the KO and Brim on each team. Popping through. Flashing two. Can't find the shots. Ooh, and getting sprayed through the wall. It's going to end UJ's uh, round win streak. It's going to be third on the board for Cornell. Not the boom you hoped for. See, in situations like that, the Odin is really good, where we, we saw Joe get entirely sprayed through the wall because the Odin, uh, one, has a really large mag, so you can kind of just hold down left click. Two, has high bullet penetration, so you can spray through most things. And three, uh, what was the other thing? I had a third thing. I don't know. Lots of damage, big mag. Yeah, that's, that's, that's about it. Maybe, maybe it was only two and I just duplicated one in my mind. But regardless, it is definitely the spray through walls gun. As we saw it work its magic there on Joe. OG holding the angle, as we can see, no one for Cornell is going to be peeking that. Banthanor is kind of close, but he's going to be holding, uh, what's it called, garden? Like tree door, garden to tree door. I don't know exactly how you call that. DJ after wasting a bit of time. Gonna be committing over here on to B. Spray coming through the smoke is gonna tag Toji up a little bit. Adaptation finds two with the Spectre. Which is gonna even out the man count. Joe's gonna slam down the spike. Cornell has to play retake again. Toji. Not able to find the killing blows onto either. But doing a lot of damage. Oh, Pot agreed. Fine in the angle. You just gonna make sure that Cornell can't get a, get much of a ball rolling. Excuse me. Uh, still have a bit of a cough, so if I ever trip over anything, I apologize. I wish there was a quick way to mute on OBS. So there's no risk of me blowing out your guys' eardrums. Dart is going to come through. They're going to read that as, okay, Sova's playing pretty aggressively here. Let's rotate over to A. Probably less stacked. As we can see on the minimap, that is the case. Pot agreed. Might be able to catch out Cable. In the meantime, ooh, UJ's got a clear lend. If they don't clear lend, he can hit a three man, four man real easy. Toji apparent. Oh, well, was aware. 
Gable finds one. Len's still in the corner. No, never mind. I'm, I was reading it wrong. Excuse me. Whopper, whopper, hitting the wall spray. Here's the walking of Cable. Here's the drop down. Whopper finding the shots on one. Adaptation. Taking down Cowboy, but not before. Or uh, that not long before he falls himself. UJ putting up one heck of a half so far. Ten rounds in, seven of them have been UJ. OG peeking aggressively as a jet do. A lot of greed being the one to clear some angles. A lot of footsteps come in Cornell's way. Ooh, Banthanor's gonna find Cowboy with the shorty, but Toji's gonna find the trade. Molly comes down, gonna delay UJ's progress a bit. Joe finds adaptation. Relatively early uh, bolts coming out of UJ's Brimstone, but still delaying nonetheless. Toji going to find one, going to be the last member remaining. Who looks the wrong way. Hits him with the dash. Needs to find the shots, and he does. That's four on the round again. And this man is just a menace right now. He even picks up the Odin for, uh, for Whopper Whopper. What a good teammate. What a good guy. Stand-up guy. Jay up eight rounds to Cornell's three. Knife finding Toji. Gonna have to hit his shots. Well, finds one, but Fett takes out Joe in the meantime. Knows there's a second one. Spray coming through the wall. Gotta be careful of Cable. But he does fall. Lend finds Cowboy. It's still a 3v3. Shots come out onto the turret. UJ's KJ ult getting ripped. And Adaptation's got to get the heck out of there. Every ult getting ripped. Cornell's KJ getting detained. Banthanor falls, and it's just Adaptation left on site. No longer detained. But is going to get spotted. Is going to get sprayed through the box. No plant needed. 9-3 and three for UJ. What a half. Never 9-3 and three curse. Always 12-3. and three. Or 13-3. Thir and three. Never 9-3 and three curse. Valorant players have a, a lot of superstitions about like... Uh, round scores at half and stuff like that. I, I like to joke about it. I like to make fun of my Valorant playing friends. It's a good time.
Joe playing pretty aggressively with the frenzy as uh as Brimstone. Looks like Cornell is gonna be opting for a bit of a split push. Spike is over on B side. Whopper Whopper is going to be playing a connector. Pot of Greed is going to be the only one that's actually on uh, B site. Oh, he needs to check. He sees one. That might be enough information. Maybe not. Maybe, maybe he's just holding it. Saying, yeah, you're not going to push in blind. I think he's right. He's fat. He knows that there's two over here. Smoke. Smoke's finally come down. Looks like the execute is finally happening over on B. Joe still holding a one-man army over there at A. We're now at a man disadvantage over on B. Strange that they're still bluffing A. Right here. Instead of just calling the rotate over to B. Toji finds one though. Toji finds two. Cowboy finds a third. One enemy remaining. Ten seconds left. Joe finds one is going to fall, but that is nowhere near enough time for Fett to get over there and plant. And that's going to be the pistol round for you, Jay. Oh. Ooh, and they find the kill on the Fett. Not that it matters a whole lot, but it does still take a uh, better gun out of the Fett's hand. It's always a nice little bonus, and it's a plus one on the scoreboard. Jesus. Toji. 23 and 7, one round after half. Oh, what is this man doing? He's committing crimes. Sees one. Doesn't know that basically the entirety of Cornell is right there. Whopper, whopper. Looking for the spray with the Ares. Isn't going to find it. Ooh, but that shock dart. Nope, didn't quite hit the bounce he wanted it to. Looking for the jump shots, finds Banthanor with the bullet penetration. Pot of Greed finds Adaptation. UJ knows where Cable is, and he's going to fall real quick. Almost a flawless for UJ in the buy-up. opting to stack A a little bit more. Saying, yeah, Cornell, B hasn't been working for him. Let's just commit A, as they probably are. And I think that's a pretty good read from whoever is making the call. I know Toji's the IGL. Um, so it was probably him that made the call, but you never know. Ooh, finds the head of Fett. One shot, one kill, two shots, two kills. Can't find the third, but Joe's there with the cleanup. Oh, those shots, Toji. Go in. Adaptation still at the spike over here at A. Cable rotating over to mid. I agreed looking the other way. Cowboy isn't, though, and he's going to find Cable. And it's just Adaptation with the spike. Joe finds the shots. Joe finds the kill. UJ on map point. 12 to 3. Folks, I think this is the best we've seen them, them perform the entire season. Like they're cohesive, they're hitting their shots, their their, their presence of mind is phenomenal. I don't think they could be playing a whole lot better, if I'm being honest. Like, they're, they are on right now. 
Toji calling the smoke, hitting the rotate. Oh, finds the shot onto Banthanor. Spike is there. Gets shot in the back. A 3v3. Pot of Greed. Pop and Adaptation. Looks like the rotate is going to be happening over to A. Joe is going to fall to Lend. It's a 2v2. Spike going to be coming down. An awkward situation. Pot of Greed finds the shots, though. I love I love how this Vandal sounds. I love everything about this Vandal. Oh, Whopper finds the shots. And that's the map. UJ in absolute dominant fashion is going to take map one. Wow. And to be fair, I don't think that Cornell has been playing poorly by any means. I think Cornell has been playing pretty well. The 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 KDs might not be showing that. Um, I mean, Toji, 26 and 10. You know, he's just winning a lot of gunfights. So that's, that's going to sway the, the scoreboard a little bit. But I think Cornell has actually been playing better than the scoreboard would suggest. Um, I think UJ has kind of just been playing some mind games with like the the site committals the site holds um and cornell hasn't known what to do it would seem like which is is to be expected like when when you're playing as unpredictably as uj is right now how how are you gonna set anything up you kind of just have to guess at that point and uj seemed to keep winning the coin flips But regardless of the reasons behind the scoreboard, UJ is going to be going up one to nothing in the series. Man, what a what a performance, Toji. Twenty six and ten. Go in, my guy. But what is that average? That's what? 13, 16 rounds. So that's, what, like a, a 1.8 kills per round? Which is absurd. That is so high. Like 1.8 kills every round is disgusting. Disgusting. Looks like we're going to be going to Icebox next with Cornell rotating out of the, the defender slot. I'm assuming that UJ is going to be defending first. Some members of UJ moving over. Others, not so much. Joe being a little goober, hanging out in Cornell's team. There we go. And UJ typically has really strong performances on Icebox. So if they keep putting up performances the way that they did last map, it could be a quick 2-0 for UJ. All right, I'm back. Doing my best to not cough. Oh, here comes another one. All right, I think I'm good. Maybe, maybe not, but maybe for all three minutes. 
It looks like both teams are R, and we're going to be going into the second map, Icebox. And if I'm not mistaken, Icebox is UJ's map pick. So after the performance that UJ put up on, uh, on Ascent there last map, I well, considering it's UJ's map pick, I, I think we might see a, a very similar performance out of the guys this map as well. Locked in the neon. Actually. Neon. Huh. I like I like I always say, these players definitely know much more than I do. The neon still feels weird on Icebox. And they've got the the Sage and the Viper with no KJ. I mean, Jet Sova is, is very typical, understandable. UJ um bringing out actually a a Viper and Sage of their own with no KJ. Typically, we see Pot of Greed playing Killjoy, so it's interesting to see him on the Viper this time around. The Neon is still throwing me off, though. I, I, don't, I don't know how to feel about it. I'm just trying to think of, like, what makes her good on the map like i mean she's she's fast like she can sprint places you know that obviously that's always going to be good but like what what makes her especially strong on icebox my question I don't know. Not sure. But we'll we'll see how it pans out for Core now. I'm sure it'll be more effective than I'm expecting at the at the absolute very least. Seeing the quick five man commit on to A from Cornell. Yeah, getting in there quick and dirty like Recon Bolt pinging four or five. Pinging a lot. Oh, whopper whopper. Tracing around uh, uh, Cornell's Neon. Get down a man having to play retake. Viper Wall is going to be set up. Toji finds one in the meantime. Is going to fall eventually. Molly comes out. I think that's going to be spending enough time that UJ can't really do a whole lot. Cowboy finds the shot. I don't think he's going to have enough time. It would not appear so. Just like two seconds too slow. All five members of Cornell dead. And all five members of UJ dead as well. With the spike detonated going to be another first pistol round for Cornell. So the, the site execute, I think, was a, a good bit quicker than UJ was expecting. And I mean, I, I think that's a little broadcasted with the Neon. Like, obviously, you want to have a quicker play style um, as a team, really, with Neon just because of what she enables. But it did still feel like UJ was kind of caught off guard with, uh, with the commit. Bet. Find and Toji pretty quick. Lens sliding in. Connecting on to Potagreed. Cowboy firing just barely too wide. Oh, there was a wall there anyways. Banthanor finds Joe. Whopper getting tagged up. Finds the headshot but can't find the kill going to be a flawless for Cornell. And this is exactly how we saw last map start off. Cornell's start uh, with a really solid pistol round. 
and then win the buy up. So things could absolutely still go either way from this point on. I'm spectating the wrong team. I'm I'm still pressing the buttons from last map. Whopper trying to hit the spray and not finding any bullets that connect. Cowboy finds one, gonna get stingered down. Pot agreed finds two. UJ up by two men. Down. Went for a tag down to about half. Potentially looking to rotate over to A. And it's just going to be Lend left. Joe just healed himself. He had to have been tagged down so low. Left. Lend finding the plant. Spike planted. Plant gets slammed underneath Joe. Joe, after some uh, awkward hesitation, going to find the shots. Going to be the first on the board for UJ. After an almost flawless round of their own. I mean, with where Cowboy was positioned, you kind of expect him to fall at some point unless he just hits, like, the craziest four-man spray you've ever seen. And that's that's going to happen more in CSGO than it is in Valorant. Like, Joe is going to be walling off uh, Tube. Tube? Tube, yeah, I got the call right. And I think you place it the long way, if I'm not mistaken. That you do. While it doesn't block line of sight necessarily, it does block passage for, well, uh, until that wall falls. Ooh, Fett taking down Koji. Even out the kill count. Wall goes up, spray comes out. Joe is going to get sprayed through the smoke. Solid spray from Banthanor. What a good name. Whopper getting tagged with the recon bolt. Finds shots onto one. Cowboy finds another. Still real awkward for UJ to work with, though. And he gets swung. The 1v1 for Cowboy. Looking to get it to half. Oh, and yet again. It's not enough time. If Cornell is doing something right, they are burning down the timer of the spike like nothing else. Cornell's post-plant game has just been absolutely astounding. Like, both maps, really, but especially this map. Like, both their takes and their, their post-plant holds have been really stellar. Cowboy throwing his knife into the stratosphere. Meanwhile, Lend is going to be ripping his ult. Joe Caesar doesn't find the shots. It's going to be a plant coming down. Five players on both teams left. 
As I say, that Whopper Whopper falls. Toji finds one with his knives as well. Benthanor finds Joe. Bet finds his counterpart, and that's going to be the fourth on the round for Cor uh, fourth on the on the board. Excuse me for Cornell. The strange flip, it would seem, from last map. Last map, uh, I do believe, was Cornell's pick. Uh, Ascent was, and UJ won quite handily, um, if I would say so myself. And now, with UJ's pick in Icebox, Cornell is up 4-1. to one. So it's interesting to see how things are panning out. Cube wall going up. Pot of greeds. Viper pit, Viper pit, excuse me, coming out. Banthanor is going to connect with the head of Cowboy. Looks like Cornell calls for the rotate, saying, yeah, we really don't want to contest a Viper in her pit. Toji hears the updraft, probably calls for UJ to rotate, and that's what it looks like. Toji not able to find the shots. Does escape with his life. Spike planted. But another post-plant scenario for Cornell. With the man advantage on top of it. Oji just barely not finding the shots. Whopper's going to get his head taken off. Oh, and if he could see what we see. Bet finds two with the spray. Joe's going to fall, and that's going to be a flawless on the board for Cornell. Life is strange sometimes, folks, and this is one of those instances where each respective team is performing well on the other team's map pick. The Cornell's executes have been almost flawless, it would seem. Their, their takes have been very stellar. Gun bolt coming out of Whopper Whopper's bow. Gonna rip his owl drone. Connects with the concuss. Cowboy sees two members of Cornell. Finds the shots onto one, finds the shots onto the second, is going to fall. But his core will be stabilized. Adaptation falls after the plant, and it's just Cable with a lot of work cut out for him. Cowboy's able to land the shots. That's four on the round for the man. UJ able to stem the bleeding. Toji not putting up numbers like he did last map. But Cowboy is up there with a, well, a 2.0 KD right now. Ooh, but Toji's got an op. His op on Icebox is pretty deadly. Taking the real aggressive box's angle. Can't land the shots. Doesn't even want to take the shots on the FET and was probably spotted out. Joe finds Cable's head, takes it clean off. Adaptation puts his head back on. The A take 
or Cornell. I'm not sure UJ's aware of it. The way that they're holding, it wouldn't seem so. Recon Dart is going to find Joe. Going to ping him once. A bit of information for Cornell. Offer Whopper. Able to connect once with his Hunter's Fury, but not twice. Adaptation is going to heal themselves up. Viper's hit getting popped for Cornell. A real sketchy situation for all the members of UJ. OG does find one with his off. Finds two with his off. Joe with the res. Go with the shots. And UJ all of a sudden in a 4v2. I don't think we've got enough time to defuse. No. No, we, we do not, unfortunately. And the remaining two members are going to fall. One to a shorty. One to a spike. I did feel like that res from Joe was a little questionable. I mean, it's it's so hard to push someone in the, the Viper pit. Regardless of if it's a, a 4v2 or a 1v5, it's it's so hard to challenge someone that can effectively see you before you see them. UJ with an entire commit onto A. Questionable, uh, questionable antics coming out of our boys this time around. He's going to see Lend. Walls going up. Banthanor finds the shots on the Cowboy as well. UJ in a 3v5. Would probably be looking to save if there's much to save, but it's a shorty and two sheriffs. A combined value of like less than 2,000 credits. Whopper falls to Fett. Odegreed finds the head of two. Go looking for the cheeky defuse, but the wall is going to get torn down before anything can happen. That's the seventh on the board for Cornell. You just stacking the A site last round it it felt weird considering that I, I at least i think cornell's b takes have been more solid than their a takes but i'm not the igl i'm not the shot caller they're probably seeing or knowing something that i don't shot dart not finding its mark Whopper Whopper, kind of getting a little overzealous with the shock darts, quite frankly. Abel finds Toji as well. Not a great start to the round for you, Jay. Whopper hears the owl drone. Isn't going to get tagged by it. You see him regardless. Jay aware of the commit. Ooh, the, the baited commit. Ooh, I really like this from Cornell. And they get a free plant. Free control of sight. Spike down with absolutely no danger to it. What a call from Cornell's IGL. Abel connects with the head of Pot Agreed, UJ in a 3v5. UJ trading a man for a man, but that's not what they need to be doing right now. They need to be finding two, three apiece. 
Two remaining members of UJR are going to fall. Cornell's going to go up 8-2. to two. Joe with the judge. Understandable. Toji trying to find some knife shots. Not going to connect with anything. Cable's going to find two heads of UJ members. Why not? No whoppers there. Next with the head. Thing are just not doing enough damage, though. OG in a 1v5. Spike planted. Give me those back. <laughs> Next on to his counterpart. Still got four members and a spike to deal with, however. He's not aware of the lurk. Is going to get caught out by Cable, his third on the round. The best UJ can do on the on the half is three and nine. Absolutely not the way that I, at least I thought the map was gonna go. I'm I'm sure our guys predicted about the same thing with how ascent ended up panning out. Bet popping their knives. Meanwhile, a commit on to B from Cornell. Awkward trade there. Joe comes out ahead, however. Joe's going to get found out. Spray through the boxes a little bit. Ooh, Joe finds the spray on to Fed as well. And they do know that he's still over on boxes. Oh, he has to reload. Joe almost finding four. Adaptation finds two. Potigree finds the last. Cowboy is going to get picked up. Not that it matters at all. But he is going to get picked up. And UJ, three and nine on the half. It felt like their holds weren't j just weren't connecting and, until that very last defensive round. We'll see exactly how they decide to go about ideally winning the map. Got a lot of work cut out for them and a lot of rounds ahead of them if they want to do it. Despite getting juggled around. Adaptation. Ripping the, the big old tube wall. Toji dashing in. Finds the head of Banthanor. Is going to fall before he finds a second. Does tag uh, one other member up. Whopper Whopper. Finds the shots. UJ in a 2v1. Really aggressive pistol round. But as long as they play this right, this should be a relatively easy hold for UJ. These both of them. The Molly comes out, though. Pot of Greed finds the fifth kill, and that's a team ace for UJ. Always feels good. Shows that there's some team synergy. Everyone putting in some work. Love to see it. And UJ... Once again, winning the second pistol round of the map. It does seem that both of these teams are very, very heavily uh, attacker-sided. So let's see just how strong UJ is at their attacking half. If they can pull it out. 
or if Cornell is just too even on the map for that to happen. Banthanor lurking. Pot agreed, unaware. In there with the shoddy. Oh, here's him running. Slow orb is going to come out. Finds the shots on a cable. Molly denying the plant. Is eventually going to fizzle out. Plant coming down. Meanwhile, Pot of Greed does fall. No Viper post plant is a little unfortunate, but like I've said, ooh, Joe finding the heady on adaptation too. Uh, like I've said, as long as UJ plays it right, this should be really, really hard for Cornell to defuse. Joe finds Bet as well. And nowhere last is Joe with three on the round. Cowboy cleaning up Lend. That's two for two in the half for UJ. Whopper hitting them with the good old recon bolt. Life coming out for Cornell, trying to see if there's anything rushing. There is not for UJ. Pot agreed. Well, taking some damage. But is going to get healed up by Joe. Oh, Joe getting sprayed through the smoke. Not taking too much damage, though. The visual effects were, uh, were worse than the damage. The bark worse than the bite. Toji is up there. He's taking space right now. Pop flash coming out. Able to find one. Sees the second. Tags her up, but can't find the finishing blow. Len finds two in the meantime. Post plant 3v3 for UJ. Ooh, Joe just barely too slow on the shots. Oh, gets caught out. Not able to find the shots, and it's just Potigree left. Finds one. Oh, but doesn't have the angle on the defuse. That's going to be a heartbreaker for UJ. Nth round on the board for Cornell. Uh, the 3v3 post plant, UJ still had a lot of util left. I figured that was going to be the third in a row for UJ, but Cornell had other ideas. They're going to be three rounds off from winning the map. OG going in, getting aggressive. Bet finds one. So does Pot of Greed. Still a 4v4. UJ slams a spike down. A wall goes up. Go res his cowboy. In the, the not KO old way, ironically. Whopper finds his counterpart. Gets traded by Fett. The spray through the box. Real formidable. OG tags up Fett. Not looking the right way. Knife isn't going to connect. Cowboy with the spray through the smoke onto Banthanor. That's going to be the round for UJ. Oh! Oh, Joe gets out! Millimeters away from death. 
He laughs in the face of it as UJ puts their sixth round on the board. That is going to pop their knives. OG finds Adaptation. Finds uh, Banthanor's head as well. Sees the third in heaven. Oh, runs out of bullets though. Autogreed finds Cable. I was spectating the wrong team. I don't know why it switched. Just lend left. Cowboy's going to clean him up. So UJ, while still at a deficit, has been evening out the round score slowly but surely. And you might be asking yourself, who's Shirley? I don't know. Okay, with the full commit on day, only one member of uh, of Cornell is over there, but the call is made to rotate. UJ is going to be having a lot more resistance now. Go slamming the spike down. He is eventually going to fall, but not before. Connecting with the spike. UJ in a 3v5. 2v5. 1v5. Auto Greed needs to connect with these mollies. With these shots. Auto Greed needs to find the defuse. Finds a third shot, but can't stop the defuse. Cornell goes up to 11. J might be looking for a slower B take this round. Maybe not. All five members of UJ are deciding to go the direct route to B. Once again, they are going to meet up with a lot of resistance. Ball comes out. Toji goes through. Toji finds one. Toji finds two. I, I'm a rapper, apparently. Oh, can't find the one shot onto Lend. But regardless, UJ is going to be up a man and up a spike plant. Wall coming up for... Uh, oh, never mind. Uh, I, I, I thought that was Wall coming up for Cornell by the audio. I have been mistaken. Lend finds one. Everyone finding a trade, and it's just Cable left. Cowboy there with the cleanup. Hey, that, that, that's a that's a good line. Uh, yeah, that's a good line. Some of these Valorant lineups just blow my mind. I've coming out. Where does that connect? I'm curious. Next, on to yellow. All right. Toji dashing across a little preemptively, but isn't going to get caught out. Wall coming up, spike coming down. Shots being exchanged, but no one falling quite yet. And UJ with a real quick plant over on B. 
good slow. But it doesn't go back far enough, and Toji's going to find the shots on to Lend. Whopper finds a pick of his own. Adaptation with a frenzy. Bet with a bulldog. Well, he finds the dink awkwardly enough. Just Banthanor left. Finds the right click. Just barely gets caught out by it. Bet and Cowboy, the absolute performers this map. I think this is also the first time we've seen Fett buy an op uh, on Icebox, if I'm not mistaken. I guess he could have had one and just not gotten a pick with it, but I don't remember seeing uh, an op in the feed. Meanwhile, Toji popping knives. Recon dart and knife coming out on to B. Util being used. Cornell recognizing that that's UJ's way of saying, all right, we're going on site. Wall comes up. Joe getting forced off plan. UJ looking to rotate to A. Cornell reading it. Ooh. Toji looking the wrong way. Gets blasted back by Fett. Cowboy finds Lend. Interesting pick. More than 30 seconds left. Adaptation. Hitting the res on the Lend. Brain not connecting onto any member of UJ. Get down a man, up a plant. And they hold. Knives getting popped by Feth as well. Low coming out. Joe looking the wrong way. Awkward situation. A lot of members of Cornell are there. And unfortunately, the plant just isn't back far enough for Potagreed to do anything about it. Cornell's going to be on map point. I will say, I think Cornell's uh, defensive rotations have been on a point. They have been calling them correctly, this map. They just seem to know what UJ's doing. Recon Dart connecting in the back. Going to see Fett. Going to tag him up. The tagged up isn't dead. That's still going to be an op in the hands of Cornell's jet. And a deadly one it is, as it's going to take out Toji. Tigrid hears the updraft. What? Well, I'm not sure that it saw Potagreed. Also, by the way, yeah, there, there's, a, there's a plant over there on, on B. The solid fake from UJ. Hopefully it does pay off for him. Lend is going to find one with his ult, two with his ult. And Pot agreed, not able to rotate in time. That's going to be a second map for Cornell. Defenders win. So a much, much closer map than last. But it's going to go Cornell's way this time. So each team winning the map of uh, the other team's map pick. 
if, if that made sense. I don't think what I just said made sense. But regardless, one team picked a map and the other team won it in both cases. And regardless, we're going to map three. Both teams vying for control uh, of uh, that last playoff spot. You know, they, they don't want to go out without a fight. Cornell is, is showing it. They came back really hard, map two. Um, or, I mean, started out strong, stayed strong. Just, like, came back into the map really strong. You get what I'm saying? So it looks like map three is going to be Haven. I, I don't know if we've seen Haven at all this uh, this season. So it'll be interesting to see how it pans out for UJ.
I'm back and off we are. In a map three, the deciding map for the series, which team is going to playoffs? Relatively standard setup for UJ. Joe playing the Astra as well. We haven't seen Astra as much, but I do believe it's always been Joe playing her when we have seen her. So not like out of left field by any means. Off we are seeing a Phoenix and a Breach from Cornell. Only two duplicate agents being AJ and uh and Sova. So that's that's always fun to see. I always really appreciate that. When there's a a diverse cast of characters on a map. Is gonna be defending first and Cornell. Opting for a C take, it would appear. It would appear that they're going to be bluffing C and committing to an A push, but Toji taking the head off a of lend. Both teams kind of just feeling things out. Cornell's Fragger in Fet playing that corner. Koji sees one, finds a shot on a cable, but one shot isn't enough. Whopper, whopper going for the sky darts, not connecting in time. Be relatively even post plant. Every member of Cornell just tucked away in a different corner. Who doesn't see the second one? Fett finds two. Whopper finds one of his own. Knows that Fett probably in that corner. He was right. Odd agreed finding another kill. Odd agreed yet again left in a clutch situation. Not able to find it. Two remaining members of Cornell are going to fall, but they are going to win a round. That's going to be the third first pistol round for Cornell. They haven't won a second pistol round, but they've won every first pistol round. <laughs> I At least the, the teams are consistent in what they're doing. And if history says anything, Cornell is going to win this one in an almost flawless fashion. But Haven might have something to say about that, just because it's kind of chaotic sometimes. Oh, I didn't even realize Pot of Greed's uh, ghost skin. I love that. The silenced Mauser. Oh, that's pretty. Misses the shot. Connecting with bullets, however. Spike 
Poji with nothing but a shorty. Not really an ideal gun in that situation. Okay, so Joe finds one and then dies, is my prediction. Unless Cornell gets a flawless. Oh, Cornell gets a flawless. All right. Oh, never mind. I. When did Banthanor die? Who killed Banthanor? How did that happen? Oh, I don't know. But I was right with the 2-0 thing. I guess I was originally right with the, the almost flawless thing. <laughs> Both teams being really consistent right now. OG going in. A lot of pressure in mid, but no real committal yet. Until Toji sees one cross, sees the second, takes their head off. Cuss does connect onto Toji, but it isn't really going to be doing a whole lot. In a 5v4, but all four members of Cornell are going to be aggressing towards A slowly but surely. Smoke's coming down, limiting UJ's angles. Joe finds one. Toji not able to find the killing blow, though. It's going to be a 3v3 whopper. Not able to lob it over. Cowboy finds the shots onto Cable. One enemy remaining. Bet getting traded. Hot agreed cleaning up as uh, <laughs> UJ dances around the fire. Uh. That was that was humorous watching them try to maneuver a Molly. I should play some astral stars in this reality. Right there. On Bolt comes through, doesn't see anything, but does get shot. So he knows there's something there. J with three holding C. And while the turret on B does go off, it's seeing someone trying to tag him up. And it does look like Anthonor was like minimally tagged by the turret. Not that it really matters, but... Good to know that the turret hits its shots every once in a while. Bet is going to be ripping his ult. Gets taken out by Cowboy. Cowboy whipping the knife out. Not going to find anything. Knows that they're probably not there at this point. Meanwhile, Joe... Over there on A finds one on the cable. Left. Not able to find the shots. Gets tagged up himself, however. UJ playing a real awkward retake. Lend finds Toji. Ooh, Cowboy next with Lens Head. Last player standing. I'm not sure there's uh there's enough time for the defuse at this point. At least not not with three kills. He had the crosshair on him too. Absolute tack shooter timing. You're not able to keep the ball rolling. 
I do think this is exactly what we saw last map. Can I play some stars in this reality? At least at the start. So let's let's hope UJ doesn't match last map score exactly. Cowboy getting sprayed through the wall eventually connects. <laughs> Autogreed finds a headshot on a cable. Toji can't find a headshot. Finds a body shot, but a body shot is not enough. By coming down onto B. Four members of Cornell along with it. Real sketchy spot for Whopper Whopper to be in. It swung is gonna fall. If I'm being honest, I have no idea how UJ is supposed to retake this. They don't. That, that's how. Cornell puts their fourth on the board. OG two and five. We saw him on first map absolutely go in, and he, he needs to pick stuff up if we're going to be a handy win on map three for UJ. He does often seem to be a deciding factor, because if he pops, UJ wins without question. Never a doubt in my mind, and there Toji finds one. He's going to need to find a lot more. UJ wants to come out ahead on the map. Whopper hitting the spray. Oji hearing a lot of footsteps behind him. Calling for UJ to rotate over to A. Out of greed in a real aggressive, or er, I, I guess not as aggressive as I thought. I, th I thought he was around the corner, but still holding an angle that he can swing pretty easily. Cornell's KJ ult getting popped, forcing UJ back. Joe and Whopper find one each. Toji finds a third on the round and destroys the KJ ult on top of it. Knows where Fed is, finds some shots, can't find the kill. Cowboy going in is going to find it. Oh, Whopper's going to find it, excuse me. And that is a round that UJ sorely needed. A lot of pressure over on C. Ooh, Pot of Greed finding a pick with his Molly, Toji finding the one in mid. And he find the second in adaptation. It's the spray. Really accurate spray, too. If he'd still been there, you know. Found out with the alarm bot. Oh, gorgeous shot on the lend. UJ in a 5v2. We're now kind of caught between a rock and a hard place. And they're just absolutely pinned. Toji's behind them. Two members of UJ in front of him. Actually, two members behind as well with Cowboy. Cowboy teabagging to Toji. 
Tactical crouching, excuse me. Cornell just hitting the save, realizing that if they lose these guns, they might be in kind of a kind of a bad, yucky spot. Oh, almost finds the spray onto him. It's gonna be the third on the board for UJ. Cornell keeping a few guns to their name. Some members have a, a good bit more money than others. Being lend with the Bulldog as well, so not exactly a full buy, but a, a force buy for Cornell. Meanwhile, Whopper with his signature Odin. Honestly, didn't know you could spray through that. I figured that was... That was solid on one side. Cowboy finds the first pick of the round, however. Race through the wall at Lend. Just off to the side. An awkward spot for Cornell right now. I wonder how much damage that does if it goes through two surfaces. Kind of bolt getting shut down before it can ping. So no real information gained from that other than that someone is still there. Able probably seeing the spray, not having any of it hit him. And it looks like the call has been made by Cornell to rotate over to A. Can Joe work wonders? Well the wall comes up. Smoke comes out. Ooh, shot from Banthanor. Cable behind as well. It was such a convincing start of the round for UJ. All of a sudden, they're in a 2v4. Pot agreed. Once again in a clutch situation with not enough time. Finds a kill on Lend. They're just going to rotate out. Give the round. Might be able to find a second. Nope. Got the knife out. Banthanor connects with his head. That's a fifth on the board for Cornell. UJ now the ones in kind of an awkward economic spot. We, we've got a few guns. We've got like one round buy left in us, but UJ isn't able to find the round. The, the loadouts are going to look a little strange for UJ. Go with the Phantom instead of the, the Vandal up in heaven. Interesting. I guess he usually gets smoked off anyways, but still. You see the commit... Into a long from Cornell. Can't find the spray. I think connected with one bullet. But one bullet is not enough unless it's to the head. Oh, I think he saw Fett's shoulder too. The ult's going to come through. Does find some spray. Meanwhile, Pot agrees. Ult is going to be coming down. Cowboy's going to get finished off. Whopper, Whopper finds one. A real awkward series of events for everyone involved. And Cable with three on the round coming in from behind and just doing work. That's the sixth on the board for Cornell. Recalling my job out of service. Turns out. 
Oh. <laughs> Joe accidentally blocking the positioning of a uh, pot of greeds turret. That is hilarious. Meanwhile, Seaside is entirely open for Cornell to take. Sees him through the wall, but through the wall is not good enough if there's 12 <laughs> walls in the way. Koji does find the first kill of the round, almost finds a second, lots of tags. Joe with the defuse. Koji jumping through. The, the spray coming through doing so much work for Cornell. And UJ is going to fall like dominoes as Cornell puts their seventh on the board. Agreed throwing the turret up. Joe playing in a real aggressive position instead of playing heaven. I do like it. We've seen him just get cut off again and again by those brimstone smokes. Looks like Cornell still committing to A, wrapping over to short, however. Koji finds one. That attacker KJ ult, real awkward. Koji finds a second kill. Spray through the smoke on the cowboy. UJ in a post plant 3v3. He's one. Oh, gets caught out from behind by Lend. Range positioning. Koji finds his third on the round. Last player standing. Pot agreed, not able to find the defuse though. And this score line is looking eerily like last map. Koji has picked up a good bit, but Cowboy's fallen off, unfortunately. A half buy, not even a half buy for UJ. The last round of the half, that's got to feel bad. Short recon dart coming out, not seeing anything. Toji getting real aggressive. Well, five members of Cornell are right there around the corner. See if any members of UJ can connect with any heads or if the only thing that they're gonna end up doing is falling over. To be fair, Koji is denying a lot of progress for Cornell. Sitting in the smoke He's just going to back, give it. Shots connect on him through it. Two members of UJ are going to fall in the meantime, though. Bet looking right at that smoke, spraying right next to Toji. Toji not able to find any. Oh, pot agree, just too slow. And unless pot agreed. He turns on his aim bot or something. It's going to be the same halftime score as last map. 3 to 9 in favor of Cornell.
Banthanoir connects with Pot of Greed's head. And the clutch is no more. EJ, obviously a very attacking-sided team. Haven, a, a pretty attacking-sided map, really. Cornell needs four. EJ needs ten. Uh, it's a big difference. Roughly six. And six is a really big number, depending on the context. Six dollars? Not a lot of dollars. Uh, if, if you have six cats, that's a lot of cats. Unless they're farm cats, I guess. Okay, opting for the B push, or the, the C push, excuse me. Pot Agreed finds one in Window Joe, connects onto Banthanor as well. All three members of Cornell right there. Toji hits the spray. Ooh, I don't think Fett knew that you could stand on that ledge. To be fair, that's a pretty niche interaction. Pot of Greed is going to clean up the last one. And, well, the, the third, second pistol round <laughs> for UJ. The just astounding consistency tonight, folks. Ooh, I love that recon dart. Bouncing off the, the edge of the overhang. Placing swamp grenade. Go slamming down the spike. Cowboy slamming down on Lend. Oh, I don't think Whopper saw him. Oh, that's that's awkward. Awkward, 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 awkward. He'd, he'd appreciate that one. That's a big flash. That's a big spray. Toji finds two is eventually taken down by Cable. But in a post plant 4v2. 4v1. Well, not exactly the, the best situation for adaptation to be in. I, I mean, I, I guess he wasn't really losing anything. Pretty sure he only had a classic. Still interesting that he died. Oh, go for it. You do you. Like I said, didn't really lose anything. Doesn't really matter. But looking to be a full buy from Cornell. Okay, still repping their buy-up weapons for the most part. Interesting that Toji rebought a Spectre instead of just like a, an actual Vandal. Toji clearing. I think he saw Banthanor. Oh, he wins that. Wow. It is it's going to fall soon after, however. To be another plant on C for UJ. 4v4. Make that a 4v3 courtesy of Pot Agreed. That finds the half defuse. Interesting. Pot Agreed hits the spray on Adaptation. And it's just Lend left over in Garage. Hoping to catch someone out. He will find Pot of Greed. Cowboy, interesting death to the spike there. 
Maybe wanted to grab an op. Maybe he went for an op. I don't know. Re regardless, not sure how much time he thought he had. But he definitely didn't have enough. Real quick concuss from uh, from Cornell. The lurk in the window finds pot agreed. Isn't even going to get traded. What is this? Not a chance he finds a second, right? Oh, uh, that's got to feel terrible regardless. He finds a second. There is that is unreasonable. Cable finds a third. Finally, Banthanor is taken down. The deadliest frenzy I've ever seen. Looking the wrong way. Turn around, cowboy. Joe finds a spray onto two. He's in a one v two. Does have spike. Able to play around it. Look left. Look left, Joe. 30 seconds left. Got to clear the corner. I don't think he wins that against the Bucky most of the time. It's going to be the 10th round on the board for Cornell. Sorry, responding to messages. I have this fight. DJ kind of lurking all over. Relying on people to win their ones. Cowboy hearing the owl drone. He's going to get tagged by it. Whopper sees that there's probably two over at A. Okay, deciding to rotate back, maybe calling a C take. OG with the knives. What crimes will he commit? Spray from heaven. Not finding anything. Ooh, I don't think he saw a Cornell member in heaven. Fett finds Whopper. Ooh, Cable with the trade. Cowboy does find one. Go real vulnerable. Spike is down. Pot of Greed in the 1v1. He's got he's to get a clutch, right? Not sure he knows exactly where Spike is planted. Use the shots onto the turret, even though... Oh, swing it! Oh, pot agreed, giving me heart problems. Oh, man. Oh, he almost stuck it. But he clutches those. Let's go. Oh, pot agreed. Don't do that to me. Don't do that to the viewers.
the tools, that's how you survive. UJ opting for a pretty quick C take. Cornell apparently ready for it. Banthanor finds one, finds two with the shorty. And everything is just falling apart for UJ. That is something that should never happen. Also questionable that it was uh, Cornell's brimstone that was going for that kind of play, but I, it worked. I don't know. Go for it. Bot agreed connects onto Fett, evening out the man count a little bit. He's looking the wrong way. Needs to swing it. Doesn't swing it in time. Oh, needs to be looking the right way. He's going to find one. Finds two. Oh, but he can't find three. That's the ult burnt and the round lost for UJ. Unfortunate. UJ calling a timeout, regrouping themselves because they do seem to need it. They're two rounds away from their season being over. Need to figure out what's working, what's not, what they need to change, and quick. Timeout is done. Hopefully UJ got through the communication that they needed. See if it pays off for him. I need a shot. UJ opting for a C take through long and garage. OG getting real aggressive, not seeing anything. It's concussed. Knows that at the very least there is a breach there. Meanwhile, Pot of Greed's ult is getting ripped. It's gonna be a free sight for UJ. Molly not quite positioned where Cornell needed it. We've got a 5v5 post planned. 5v4, 5v3, or 3v5, depending on which team you're rooting for. Bet finds his second, third, fourth. Oh, he does deny the defuse, but that's not going to be enough. <laughs> the Molly doing some damage to Banthanoi. Not that it really matters. Understandable, Baba Kanush. <laughs> I guess it happens sometimes. Cornell won a map, or uh, one round away, excuse me, from winning the map, winning the series, and moving on to playoffs. Go throwing down the spike into the, the tactical corner.
OG lurking forward, taking some space. Ray's coming through. Banthanor finds the first pick of the round onto Toji. Right here. Oh, sorry. Spacing out, getting tired. Meanwhile, Cornell's KJ ult getting ripped. Plant is coming down. Oh no! Joe getting, uh, getting detained just barely. Meanwhile, Banthanor defusing. Cowboy finds the spray onto him. Spike is half. This might be a little awkward. Nope. Whopper, Whopper's there. Whopper Whopper, the last line of defense. Spike getting tapped. The defuse coming through. And unfortunately, that's going to be the end of the season for UJ Valorant. UJ coming out in map one so strong. But I guess Cornell stepped up to the challenge, won the next two maps. And that's all she wrote. But we do have a good bit more uh, esports coming your guys' way this week yet tomorrow. We do have Super Smash Bros. at 6. And on Saturday, we have Fortnite from 2 to 6. Um, so be sure to tune in for those as well. Yours truly is going to be casting, so it's going to be exciting as always. Um, and yeah, I think that's all we've got. All she wrote for the night. So thank you for stopping by guys. We do appreciate it and have a good night.